I'm gonna say books, books sounds, books sounds better. Um, books, books, I mean, this is booktube. Yeah, booktube, I'm gonna say books. Hello there, bookworms. Welcome back to my channel. Can you believe it? June is already over and we're entering July. This is absolutely crazy. But this is also the reason I'm here today with my June reading wrap up. June actually felt like a really good reading month to me, but then I checked my handwritten book list that I keep and I saw that I only read eight books. This is still quite good, but then I saw that five of them were comics and or graphic novels. But I talked about this already in one of my previous videos. Reading is reading. And without further ado, here are all the books, comics and graphic novels that I read in June. The first one I read was an actual physical book, but I had this from the library and I already returned my copy. So I'm just gonna show you guys the cover on my tablet. And the book was Ghost Walker by Rainer Wegwerb. This is a German YA science fiction thriller, which takes place in the year 2047, if I'm not completely mistaken right now. And this is about the main character named Jonas and he works as Ghost Walker and Ghost walkers are some sort of errand boys but in virtual reality world so companies can hire the ghost walkers to deliver data packs from one person to another and one day Jonas is offered a very lucrative run but that makes him a target not only in the virtual reality but also in the real world eventually so I mostly enjoyed this book it was entertaining and mostly fast-paced and I especially liked the virtual reality aspects that the author came up with and I rated this a 4 out of 5 stars the next one is a comic collection that has been on my TBR for so many years, but now I finally found the digital copy at my library and it is Adulthood is a Myth by Sarah Anderson. This is basically just a short collection of uh, fun little comics that explain adult life problems in a very fun, cute and relatable way. I didn't rate this because I read this in just like half an hour and it was really fun and relatable and it made me smile a lot but it wasn't book enough for me to actually rate this. Then I read a few more Marvel comics and the first one was The Life of Captain Marvel by Margaret Stuhl. This is a collection of the entire five issue miniseries that um, sort of retells and also retcons Captain Marvel's origin story. I mostly just picked this up at the library because I was in the mood to read some Captain Marvel because I absolutely love the character, but this was only average. I rated it a three out of five. The story and the art weren't bad, but I just didn't like that they retconned her origin story and it wasn't something special or anything. It kept me entertained for a few hours and was good enough to stick with it but it wasn't something memorable or outstandingly awesome. <laughs> the next two books I read were two more volumes in the new Avengers series by Brian Michael Bendis and they were volume 10 Power and volume 11 Search for the Sorcerer Supreme. Well this is actually really hard to pronounce but I did it. So as you could probably tell from the title this is an Avengers series. I started reading this last year and it had its ups and downs but I mostly really enjoyed this and I gave volume 10 3.5 stars and volume 11 4 stars out of 5. The next one I actually have a physical copy of and it is The Dark Prophecy by Rick Riordan. This is book number two in the Trails of Apollo series. This is a middle grade fantasy series and you will probably be familiar with Rick Riordan's Percy Jackson and Camp Half-Blood universe. So this series follows the god Apollo but he is not a god anymore, he is a teenager because he has been sent down to earth by Zeus and now he has to compete a series of trials to regain his immortality. So these books are hilarious to read. I love Rick Riordan's writing style, it is so fun and entertaining and I loved a lot by reading this. I enjoyed this more than the first book in the series and I rated it 4 out of 5 stars. The next one is a graphic novel and it is The Fort on the Wars by Jérôme Le Gris. This is the first volume in the Lost Ages series. I got a digital review copy of this from NetGalley which was really cool. This is a fantasy series and it takes place in an alternate history because in this universe in the year 1000 an apocalyptic event wiped out all human civilizations and now this takes place a few centuries after the apocalypse and follows our main character Elaine and she's a young woman and she travels the lands with her father's tribe and they live as nomads but her father has a secret and because of that he um, violates some of their rules and they find themselves at war with another clan and then Elaine has to go on a seemingly impossible adventure with her companions to find out more about her father's secret. So this was only the first volume and it served more as a setup and an introduction for the world and the bigger storyline but nevertheless I really enjoyed this and I especially loved the art that was really beautiful and I rated it 4 out of 5 stars. And finally, the last book I read is a German review copy that I won in a giveaway from the author and it is Sturmglas by R.M. Amerheim. So this is a science fiction novel or I should maybe say novella because it was really short. It was still a really good book. I really enjoyed this. This is about main character Matty and she is one of the few survivors from a spaceship crash on another planet because humanity was traveling to that planet 
to start up a new life there because Earth has become uninhabitable. But when Matty and some of the other survivors start looking around this new planet, they encounter some sort of monster that seems to be hunting them. So I really enjoyed this book. I read it in four out of five stars and I loved how creative it was with all the crystals on the planet. And also the writing was quite good. I could picture everything in my head. Unfortunately, this hasn't been translated, but I would definitely recommend it to German speaking science fiction fans. So this was everything that I read in the month of June. And looking back, I think that actually really was a great reading month because there wasn't any book that I didn't like. I mean, there also wasn't a five star read, but I'm very picky when it comes to those anyway. So all in all, I can just say June was a really good reading month for me. I hope it was also a good reading month for you. Let me know down below in the comments. And if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing to my channel or to my book blog that I've linked in my description box. I hope to see you back again in my next video and until then, happy reading and bye bye!